Empress Dowager Xiao Jing was truly one of the most pitiful empresses of the Ming dynasty. She was originally a palace maid, who happened to catch the eye of Emperor Shenzong of the Ming dynasty. Because of her lowly status, she quickly became the emperor's greatest shame and embarrassment. He would treat her cruelly for the rest of her life. Despite her husband's abuse and neglect, she became the mother and grandmother of Ming dynasty emperors. Let's unfold the tragic story of Empress Dowager Xiao Jing. Empress Dowager Xiao Jing was born on the 27th of February 1565, in Beis Heli, to a commoner family known as the Wangs. At the age of 13, she became a palace maid to Empress Dowager Xiao Ding. One day when Emperor Shenzong visited his mother's palace, he asked for a basin of water to wash his hands. Maid Wang, who was older than him but exceptionally beautiful, brought him the basin. He liked her immediately and favored her. As a token of appreciation, he rewarded her services with a hair ornament. The emperor soon after started having intimate relations with Maid Wang. However he was deeply ashamed of their liaisons because she was only a palace maid. He wanted to keep their relationship secret. When Maid Wang became pregnant, Emperor Shenzong refused to acknowledge that he had any intimate relations with her. The situation escalated when Empress Dowager Xiao Ding confronted her son with the records of the exact date of his intimacy with Wang. The emperor was so embarrassed that he blushed. Subsequently, the news of their liaisons became known to the public. Empress Dowager Xiao Ding promoted Maid Wang to obedient consort and relocated her to Jingyang Palace. On 28 August 1582, Consort Wang gave birth to a son named Zhu Chang Luo, who would later become Emperor Taichang of the Ming Dynasty. However, Emperor Shenzong did not acknowledge his son, and did not grant Consort Wang any higher status or recognition. Following the birth of their daughter, the Emperor disregarded Consort Wang and confined her to her own palace. From that point onwards, she spent the rest of her life in seclusion. Meanwhile, the emperor bestowed all his affections and love on his favorite consort, Jing Guifei. In 1586, Jing Guifei gave birth to Emperor Shenzong's third son, Zhu Changxuan. The emperor wanted to make Guifei's son the next emperor. However, it was tradition for the emperor's eldest son to inherit the kingdom. Emperor Shenzong fought for 15 years to make Zhu Changxuan the crown prince but he faced strong opposition from his ministers. Eventually he yielded, and appointed Wang's son, Zhu Chang Luo, as the crown prince. Even after he named Zhu Chang Luo the crown prince, Emperor Shenzong did not even bother to promote consort Wang. It was not until the birth of her grandson in 1606, that the emperor finally honored her, by promoting her to the rank of imperial honored consort. However, even with this promotion, Consort Wang continued to be neglected and spent her days in tears. It was said that she cried so much that she eventually lost her vision and became blind. In 1611, honored Consort Wang fell sick. Her son, Zhu Chang Luo, went to see her and discovered that the doors to her palace were locked. He had to find someone to get the keys so he could visit her. Consort Wang's last words to her son were, You've grown up now. I will die of no regrets. On the 18th of October of that same year, Consort Wang died. Few years after her death, Zhu Chang Luo ascended the throne as Emperor Taichang. However, he died one month after his enthronement. His son, Zhu Yujiao, then became Emperor Shizong of the Ming Dynasty. The new emperor honored his grandmother by bestowing upon her the posthumous title of Empress Dowager Xiao Jing. He also reburied her in the Dingling Mausoleum next to Emperor Shenzong. Ever since Empress Dowager Xiao Jing met Emperor Shenzong, her life was mostly unhappy. She spent 30 miserable years in neglect and confinement. As the mother of the heir apparent, she did not receive any privileges at all. Instead, she was mistreated by her husband, who saw her only as an embarrassment. It was not until her death that she finally received the privileges that she was deprived of in life. 